guys welcome to the summer opening weekly it's wednesday morning and i'm getting ready to go off to an event this morning it's a panel talk with dermatologists i think and userin which is a skincare brand that i used to use a load i haven't used them so much recently but i love i still love and still use their sun care their spf is amazing really great for the skin very gentle so yeah i still use that but i haven't used their so much moisturizers and cleansers in in quite a while so i'm off there but a couple of days ago i think oh it was god it was like five days ago now i in like got a neck injury so i'm quite stiff and in quite a lot of pain at the moment so i'm just packing my bag up and making sure to include some what's it called paracetamol because i'm yeah not in a good way what's going on why is it look like i've got Oh no, is it my frown line? Do I need Botox? Look at that, you can see it still. Have I been frowning that much today? So I am packing my book, We Were Villains, If We Were Villains, my phone, my lipstick. This is Charlotte Tilbury's American Sweetheart. Nearly finished. So I'm gonna be so sad when that runs out. It was limited edition. And then I'm also packing my new camera, which I'm just so excited about. It arrived on Monday and I've already been out a couple of times with it just to experiment. But it is... Oh, hi, Maurice. It is... What are you looking at? There's nothing there. What are you looking at? That's really scary because he's looking at something in the house. There's nothing in my weights. Why does it look like he's looking here? Is there a ghost? Boys! No. Okay then. Okay, still going. It's the Fujifilm X100V and we need to talk about this. Um, it looks like I'm being really dangerous and not wearing a lens cap, but I have a filter on which should protect the lens and also means that the lens cap that came with the camera doesn't fit anymore. So it should be very well protected, even though it looks like I'm being an absolute rebel. So I finished at the event and now I've popped into Marks and Spencers to pick up either a sandwich or like some bread for a sandwich at home and this MS I'm in is um, the one on Oxford Street and it has so much stuff that I've never seen before. Look at this. A hot cross bun BLT. What the hell? I don't know if that'll be amazing or not. So I've got like these re ready-made chicken Caesar wraps which looks quite interesting. I'd be quite interested in that. I like how it's wrapped. Apple and peanut butter is an elite snack. Love that. And then look at this. Little beetroot rocket and feta salad pot or a bean and egg pot. That looks, I don't know, so weird. Oh my God, look. Bloomy veg breakfast. Oh my God, it's got beans in. <laughs> Mochi balls. Oh my god, it all looks so good. Very tempted by this. It's got caramel and nuts in the actual, and coffee in the actual um, shell, which I like. Home and, oh, guys, I faced my fear my phobia on the way home and i still don't know how i feel about it because i feel like i did very well like i didn't have a panic attack um i did run <laughs> which i think is okay it's acceptable but yeah i feel quite anxious and i keep replaying it in my head um if any of you have a metaphobia oh you know how awful it is because you never know when it's gonna happen <laughs> it can be quite abrupt sometimes i don't want to be too graphic about it because it's obviously not a nice thing to talk about and if any of you have the same thing then it, it's a trigger warning isn't it but um yeah i saw a little kid be sick just got off the sick train was sick 
I got onto the train just as I realised what was happening and nearly stepped in more sick. Um, it was, yeah, I ran down the carriage to the other end of the carriage. It baffles me how people can sit next to stuff like that. Like, I, wow. And yeah, I felt like my heart was beating, but I didn't have, oh, look at Maurice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a full blown panic attack and it, it would just take a while for it to get out of my head, but I'm proud of how I reacted. Doesn't mean I want to do that again or be in that scenario again, but yeah, if any of you struggle with emetophobia, I send my love to you because I know how, like when my phobia was bad, it was so bad. I Like trains were one of my biggest triggers because there have been a couple of scenarios in the past where I have been trapped on a train and couldn't get out of that situation. Therapy, like CBT, exposure therapy, I had that, I wanna say like maybe 2013 when my phobia was at its worst. Um, and really getting in the way of work and travel that was when I had it and it's like I don't do my exposure therapy homework anymore but I feel like I'm still in a good place with it like it's not stopping me doing anything at the moment which is good it does put me off having kids though and then I got really panicky in my head like how am I going to catch it like could it be a sick sickness bar going around there's loads of them going around at the moment could I catch it just from walking past probably not hopefully but i have washed my hands a lot <laughs> and um kind of tempted to have a shower as well but that's i know that's my brain like i shouldn't do that i should fight that urge because nothing bad's gonna happen it's all about retraining your brain to understand that nothing bad is going to come of it i'm home i wanted to do a little mns haul but i'm feeling <laughs> quite jittery still but i'm really excited about some of the bits i got so yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna make a cup of tea do some work take my mind off it and then i can show you some of the bits i picked up in mns when i'm feeling a little bit more chilled and able to talk about food <laughs> without thinking of that <laughs> good boy i missed you today okay let's do this oh god my neck is but I just can't look up and if I look down too much then it, it's even more limited my movement um, but at m &S they had a 3 for 2 offer on cards and I like to have some cards at home for when there's birthdays and I'm not organised so I picked up some yeah nice kind of birthday ones I can just give out when I need to um, and then food wise, <laughs> don't judge me, but I got loads of hot cross buns just because it's that time of year and they're not normally around uh, at any other time. M&S always do the best flavours and I picked up two I haven't tried before. Firstly, the Banoffee hot cross buns. <laughs> These have been going viral or like I've seen loads of people talking about them. It's filled with indulgent salted caramel fudge and made with banana puree. Oh my god, I'm so excited to give those a go. I also have just been on a massive, like, I've just been craving savoury pastries or like savoury doughy things. And I found cheesy hot cross buns. I've never had a savoury hot cross bun, but these are red Leicester and cheddar. And I just love the sound of that toasted with a little bit of butter on. I'm very excited to eat both of those. I picked up some bacon rashes, <laughs> crisps, and then some salted caramel. I was looking for this in the shops yesterday because um, I want to start a new series on my Instagram where I make some of my favourite cocktails for you guys. And one of my, my um, ingredients called for salted caramel or, or just caramel sauce. So I'll be using that. Um, I did pick up that chicken Caesar salad wrap, but then I saw this freshly baked loaf of kind of sourdough bloomer so i thought i'd just make my own sandwich at home be a little bit cheaper and this i'll get so much more eat, eat out of this so i'm gonna make a tuna sandwich tuna mayo with some coriander and red onion and then i also picked up a couple of cold bits 
Picked up the beetroot rocket feta with toasted pumpkin seeds. I thought I could just have that on the side with my sandwich for a little bit more added greens. I got a little chicken liver pate for the Easter weekend and also a nice big tub of live kimchi. It's so hard to get your hands on unpasteurized raw kimchi in the, in the shops. Normally it's like in a jar on like the jar aisle whereas the real stuff the stuff that's good for you the stuff that's full of all the good gut mi microbiomes is and should be cold um and you can tell look this is um this is gonna fizz when i open it with all the live yeasts in it so i'm very excited to eat this spicy kimchi i'm gonna make my sandwich now yum 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 Okay, I've toasted the bread and it's, I guess this is a bit of a mix, a twist on the Joe and the Juice tunicado because I'm using bread instead of like a flatbed bread wrap and I haven't got any tomato and I haven't got any avocado. <laughs> so just a bit of pesto and then so much tuna, probably didn't need a whole tin to myself. Mixed with a bit of lemon juice mustard and mayonnaise oh, that's so much i don't need all the rest okay well i'm gonna eat it anyway whoa oh my god that's so much tuna don't judge me and then some red onion i like quite a lot of onion whoa that's so much whoa this is getting out of control and then loads of coriander <laughs> This isn't going to be everyone's taste but i love it and then also a tiny bit of sriracha as well i think Oh yeah, that's pretty great that, yum. One of you guys on Instagram asked me if I had any SPF recommendations, especially after the event this morning. So um, the event was about skin confidence because Userin have launched a new product which is designed for like anti-pigmentation and hyperpigmentation. Basically help fade, I guess you could call them dark spots or basically like hyperpigmentation. Um, they've developed this new ingredient which is like 10 years in the making, it's called thiad thiamidol. You can see results after 2 weeks but especially up to 12 weeks. So I picked up the serum, I'm excited to try that. I don't have that much skin pigmentation but um, this ingredient thiamidol is apparently also good for fading acne scarring because that is a form of pigmentation in the skin. So I'm really looking forward to adding that serum into my regime and seeing if we can see any results in the fading of my acne scarring. So they had this um, skin analysis machine at the event where you could see what you're going to look like <laughs> when you're old and 80 see kind of how your skin's going to age and also it told you like the age of your skin so i'm 34 and the age of my skin is 25 which is pretty amazing and i do put that down to wearing spf every single day like high high spf every single day since i was in my teens never really sunbathed like when all my friends were like slathering on suntan oil i was putting spf 50 on and i do think that's the reason why i don't look like i'm in my mid 30s so yeah i spoke about this a little bit on instagram sorry i've got such bad hay fever <laughs> my nose is constantly running has anyone else started getting it yet this year it's so frustrating both g and i have it and it feels like we've got it so early this year which is so frustrating but yes some spfs i seem to have quite a lot on the go all the time i like to have one in the bathroom downstairs one at my desk when i'm doing my makeup um so the one in my bathroom was this i showed this in my honeymoon vlog because i took it with me then helio care gel oil free sunscreen spf 50 i really like this and one of my favourites ever, it is quite expensive, but it's the Kiehl's SPF 50 PAA++ anti-pollution. This, my skin just loves this and it's so moisturising as well. So I really recommend those. And then I've just also started using this new one from Inky List. I got this basket with some products in recently and he loves getting into it. Are you chilling? 
Oh, it's like the perfect size for him. The Inky List have just launched a new SPF. The Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen SPF. I've used this for the past few days and I really like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, Moisturises really well. Um, doesn't leave me looking like a white cast. So I really like that. I've also been using a new SPF as well. Another one which I really love. But it's not launched yet and I'm not allowed to talk about it. But when it does launch... I'm very excited to share it with you because it's one of my favourite skincare brands. Pucerin have an SPF 50 with this hyperpigmentation ingredient in, in it, which is incredible. So yeah, I'm going to be moving on to this once one of these finishes up. Are you being a little creeper? You gorgeous boy. Don't mind me. I'm in my dressing gown. I've um, been doing work around the house. Can you tell where Maurice has been sleeping today? It's a little nice den and a lot of cat hair on G's jumper. <laughs> going on a date night tonight. We're going to a Pizza Express live. So basically there are three Pizza Expresses in London that have live entertainment. It's normally music. Been to the jazz one in Soho before. Sorry, ignore my hair. Um, I went to see Lee Mead with my mum. I think that might have been 2018, so it was quite a while ago. But today I'm meeting Jean. We're going to the Holborn Pizza Express to see Jay Rayner's jazz band, which I am so excited about. We're such big Jay Rayner fans. He is a food critic and he is like, yeah, one of the critics on MasterChef, MasterChef The Professionals. We love his recommendations. Like he's, he is how we found the Wigmore for the amazing cheese toasties. So, um, yeah, to be in the same room with him and to listen to him play piano whilst I eat a pizza, I'm just so excited about. So, I'll leave a link to Pizza Express Live down below where you can check out all the other kind of gigs that they've got on there. Kind of like um, a lot of jazz and a lot of like small up and coming artists. So, I think it's a really nice way to, yeah, eat food and listen to music and have a good night. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I need to decide what to wear. I got this new top recently from, where was it from, New Look, and I absolutely love it. It's like a textured, bright pink, ruched fabric with a high neck and these really cool kind of flared sleeves. Team them with some smart black trousers from Uniqlo. Um, I was going to wear a blazer on top, but I don't think it needs it. I'm going to wear a little cardigan and in, like over this just for traveling in because it is still quite cold even though it's april we've got hot and honey dough balls which are like sweet and spicy and calamari to start with some white wine to try this cheesy hot cross bun. I am so excited. I've toasted it slightly with some butter. Oh yeah. That's everything I thought it would be. Good isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's Good Friday today. I don't know if I'm in focus or the barbican behind me is in focus but um g and i have decided to spend our good friday doing a little photography walk around a part of london and we thought of barbican because it's so kind of beautiful for photography here and it's an area of london i like haven't really been too much so yeah we're just walking around i've got my new x100v from fuji so um i'd love to kind of share what it's like using this today and share some pictures that we've taken and um, G's using the Fuji X-T3 today as well so we're both, we're both on Fuji and um, this is insane it is I don't know if whether I love or hate the architecture here but you, you can't deny that it's great for photography
look at this. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I've never been to this part of the Warwickin before. It continues over here and there's a gorgeous church down there that we're going to go and check out. Going to head down here to Barbican Kitchen for a coffee whilst we walk around. Oh my god. It's very beautiful in here. Nice to come for even for a date, you know. The food's good here as well, we've eaten here before. And on a nice sunny day you can sit outside. Found a statue of the Minotaur. Look at these balls, can you see these balls hanging there? <laughs> That's so funny. So I, I really wanted to come to this cafe called Barbie Green and it's right next to an old London Roman wall. One of the oldest walls, it's proper on a slant isn't it? But wow, what a beautiful setting for a cafe. We're going to have another coffee here, maybe a little pastry. Came in here for a coffee and ended up with a full brunch and a margarita. <laughs> Oops. So we've come to see Guildhall. I've never been to this part of London before but it's kind of near Moorgate. And this is where all like the chartered, I don't really understand it, but let me show you this building. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's absolutely dead. Like there's no one here. So it's perfect for pictures. Wow, it keeps getting better. Look at this. <laughs> I feel like I'm on holiday. This is mad. It feels like, to me, it feels quite Italian around here. I don't know why. It's so beautiful. just got a bit emotional right because we're in another part of London I've never been in before even though it's so close to me oh god look at my under eye makeup um Leaden Hall Market and I literally feel like I'm in Disneyland this place is insane <laughs> like I literally feel like I'm in the like Hollywood bit of Disneyland this is mad how have I never been in here before it's so beautiful and there's pubs and some shops, there's a Pizza Express in here, this is so funny. Wow. Isn't this mad? Have you been in here before? Yeah, I've been for drinks here before. Cool. Oh, this would be good for a first date. Yeah. Isn't it? I am dressed like an absolute goth today. Let me try and show you my outfit. Black top, black cardigan, black jeans, white trainers. Um, I'm wearing a thermal Uniqlo top, which is probably a bit of a stupid idea. And the reason I'm wearing completely like black up top and yesterday as well is because I've been wearing this, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a back straightener strap. Um, and I, f I found that it's been really helping my neck over the past couple of days. So yeah, I'm just kind of camouflaging it. But to add some color, into my outfit i'm taking my brand, brand new bag out which i'm so excited about this is from kurt geiger and it's one of their rainbow bags it's a mini it also comes in a pastel but i really like the bright colors of this one it's just so <gasps> does anyone else's cat get under foot all the time i'm sorry yeah it's gonna add a lot of much needed color my outfit today so I'm just gonna pack it up now so far in there I've got some hay fever pills <laughs> and I'm gonna take some keys my lipstick I'm gonna take some paracetamol for my neck in case it gets bad I'm gonna take this vlogging camera and then I think that's all I'll be able to fit in there out for the day <laughs> day plan today it's bank holiday monday and for my dad's birthday last year we decided to get him tickets to see his favorite football team play a game versus 
the football team where G's from. So today, Leighton Orient, my like family football team, are playing Harrogate in Yorkshire, which is so exciting. So they're playing home. So we'll, me and G are about to leave to go to the um, stadium in Leighton. I'm wearing a red jumper because Orient's colours are red and white. I was contemplating doing a red lipstick as well, but I'm not sure if that would be overboard i mean i am tempted just because i never wear a red lip and it's sometimes fun isn't it so it isn't just any old game because we actually bought vip tickets so um we've got these really funny lanyards and we get to like sit in the vip area and have a meal beforehand with like the family of the players and afterwards there's like a q a with the man of the match whatever that means <laughs> So this is Kiko's lip liner in 319. Very pigmented. It's a little more like pink or blue than I'd normally wear. I do tend to go for more of a warm red with a bit more orange in it. But this is just the base. And then over the top I'm going to put on Max Lady Danger which is more of a orangey red very matte what do we think might grab a hairband because I quite like wearing my hair up when I wear a red lip otherwise I feel like I just look a bit a bit witchy <laughs> my hair is so big at the moment I've got a hair appointment my first hair appointment in way over a year coming up this month so yeah very excited to sort this <laughs> this out because <laughs> it's a bit wild and wow does this lipstick make me look quite pale i kind of like it 